Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and uh, welcome to this first tutorial on JavaScript. In this tutorial, we will introduce you to JavaScript and end up with a hello world. But before we start the tutorial proper, and this is my name, and um, I, I would like you to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. And here in my YouTube channel, this is how to access it. You visit youtube.com slash c slash brain 10 org. And then it brings you to this channel page. Then you pan to the right and hit uh, the subscribe button. This red subscribe button here would uh, get you subscribed. So when next I make videos, you just get the notification on your phone. But then uh, if you're watching this video directly off YouTube, it means that you can still see a subscribe button, the red subscribe button at the bottom of this video click on it to subscribe and of course like and share this video so that your friends who need javascript will get it but then before we start again i would like to show you devpartner.com if you ever have any questions on this video this is the website to post it i will always be there to answer so when you get to devpartner.com you scroll scroll find the category you need you want to ask a question on and then click on the category and then post your question all right and uh, finally the requirements for this video is that you must have known html and uh, css all right if you know html then and css then you are good to go with this video if you don't know html this video will, ma will not make any real sense to you at all you will not be able to cope but then if you know html and you don't know css i will advise that you take a css tutorial if you don't know html this is a html tutorial it's right on the channel just take the html tutorial then you have css tutorial too css tutorial right beside html tutorial so once you complete this two then you are 100 percent good to go with javascript if you have a knowledge of another programming language already whether it's little then it will really really help you uh, with javascript all right so to really do our javascript we need to go to our desktop and create a folder and then i can just call a new folder just right click somewhere and uh, create a new folder and call it anything but i can call this javascript toot all right this is a fresh folder and when we open it uh, we will have an empty folder inside so let's create a, an empty file so I'll right click and uh, click on new and then click on text document and I'll have to rename this text document to anything but uh, let me just call my index because um, in web development any your first file should always be named index in most of the times most of the cases but then uh, if you note if you look well you notice that my file shows extensions which means you should have to enable yours if you're using windows 10 or windows 8 or later you click on view in any folder that is open on your system then to the right here you'll see um, file name extensions so you make sure it's enabled if you're using windows 7 right on the file drop down menu you'll see organize somewhere here when you click on organize you click folder and view options in the drop down and then you will click on view and you'll see file name extensions all right now we are good to go oh you will need to have a text editor on your system if you don't have a text editor if you've done html you should have a text editor and for this i am using a, a text editor called um code lobster so to, I'll open it with my favorite text editor. You could use Notepad++ or anything. I'll open it with my Code Lobster. If you want to use the one I'm using, then you have to download it. It's free. Just go and Google Code Lobster. So we've opened this file, this file that we have here, and it's completely empty. And the first thing we can do right there is to say um, HTML and um, say head. There is nothing in the head. Let's see the title. This is the basic structure of a HTML page. Then we can say body. 
Then inside the body, we can um, actually start writing some JavaScript. If you want to write some JavaScript, you have to say script. The type is equal to um, text JavaScript. And um, we can now start writing something document dot write. Hello world. So we've done a basic, very basic HTML page with very basic hello world. And then we save it. I've saved it already from my keyboard, but you can just click save. That's why this is not active. Then we have to go to our browser and um, run this code. So to run this code in our browser, we just simply double click this. And it opens up in our browser. And guess what? We have hello world. And this file is located in our desktop JavaScript tooth index. So we have hello world. So um, let's do let's quickly do something else. Just for fun, right under hello world, we can add alert. Hello everyone. This is an alert. So if we refresh reload, guess what we have? This page says hello everyone this is an alert there's a pop up cool so let's see something else um, we come here and say console.log i love javascript then refresh we have hello everyone i click okay then i our code didn't run. Can you guess the reason why? It's running, it's giving us this output at a different place. So to, have, to see something that you printed with console.log, you right click on your web page, click on inspect element, then you click on console. So now I've clicked on inspect element, mine pulled up by the right. Yours could pull up down here uh, horizontally, but mine pulled up vertically. You can adjust this just to see. Then you see all these options and you click on console and um, guess what you have here i love javascript all right so when, whenever you use console.log it will always print on the console not on the web page itself so if yours is showing by the right and you want it to show down you can just click on this and um, select which option you want it to dock on if you select this it will go down that's it i love javascript all right so you can always adjust it using the three uh this three horiz vertical buttons here all right i believe you've um, got a little idea of what javascript does and um, javascript is what does most of all those animations you see on web pages and um, all those um, slide in slide out image slides and pop-ups and um or what not it, it doesn't need to refresh the page before it runs it directly manipulates your DOM all right and then JavaScript is an interpreted language which means it, it doesn't need to compile before it runs as you can see we, we didn't have to compile anything you just write the script and it runs all right so it's very very interesting and it's gaining huge popularity in the world right now um, almost every website has something on JavaScript running on it. So if you intend to be a web developer at some point, you, you just have to know JavaScript. And these days, it's used for mobile development too. So if you intend to be a mobile development a developer, you need to know JavaScript um, to an extent. And then if you are a web developer and you want to move into mobile development, JavaScript is necessary. If you just know JavaScript, then you can use your web development skills to build mobile apps. And we have tutorials on it. If you go to our, our channel at youtube.com slash c slash brain 10, you find um, several uh, tutorials teaching how to use uh, HTML and JavaScript to build uh, mobile apps. Example of them is Framework 7. There's another example. You have um, Ratchet. 
this is another example and then you have the ionic 2 tutorial this one another example of how to build a full mobile app um, using just html and C css and javascript all right and um, this brings us to the end of this first video and i hope you really get an idea of what uh, javascript is and how easy it is to build apps using javascript all right in the next tutorial we'll continue thank you see you in the next tutorial